It's the thunder on the Buffalo Waterfront Air Show Take Two. That thunderous roar was music to the ears of thousands of people gathered along Buffalo's waterfront to see the show. Organizers say more than 11,000 people attended the two day event. Now many missed out yesterday because of poor visibility. But as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Lilia Wood tells us, today's bright sunshine with a mix of some high clouds painted a perfect picture across the sky. 10 year old Colin Weaver says he's seen the Blue Angels dozens of times. I started seeing them in Rochester in 2015. I seen them in Cleveland and I've seen them in their home base in Pensacola. And I'm glad they're here in my hometown in Buffalo, New York. Like many, Weaver watched Saturday's show after the fog delay and waited for the Blue Angels. The Blue Angels and the Canadian F-18 weren't able to perform yet. The fog was cool, because just when the fog was lifting up and they did their demonstration, like, you'll never see that again. Ticket holders from Saturday's show got this email from the Buffalo waterfront saying they could use their ticket to watch Sunday's show if they arrived after noon. Saturday ticket holder Greg Humphrey says he understands why he could not enter until half hour before the show, but he could just not wait. I came in here early. I parked over a mile away uh, just because I didn't want to one. I didn't want to wait, but two, I wanted to have someone else uh, to have a better spot, so I just walked. Most Sunday ticket holders tell me they arrived at least two hours before the show and got a parking spot within 10 minutes. The traffic went really well coming in. I knew we wanted to get here a little early, but I was surprised at how well the event's been organized. The air show is usually held at the Niagara Falls Air Base, but it was moved to Canal Side this year for the extra social distancing space. Dozens of families I talked to say they are impressed by how the crowd was controlled with extra viewers. I think it's about what we expected. Yeah. Whether families had tickets for Saturday or for Sunday's show, every dad I spoke to said this is exactly how they wanted to spend their Father's Day. I mean, I've always wanted to do it to him, do it with him. It's uh, my Father's Day, so I'm really excited to spend the time with him. This is the best way to spend Father's Day. He's excited, I'm excited, and we're going to have a lot of fun. And the kids were not disappointed either. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. I love you. Aww. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. In Buffalo, Lilia Wood, 7 Eyewitness News.